Krala Waharam. Silver over 1,500 metres. Bronze in 2008 in Beijing in this one. And gold back in 2002 in the Worlds. The third of the ties. Puerto Rican Conquack. Bronze in the 1,505,000 already. Bronze medalist the Asian Para Games in 2018. Da Yun took up the sport after watching Beijing 2008. Has a bronze in the 400 already here. Looking for more now. And France's Julian Cassily, silver medalist at the recent European Championships in Bidigosh in Poland. Goes in lane one. So they are away in the men's 800 metres. The first 100 so important before the crossover point because everyone wants to get to the front, especially in conditions such as this because it is bucketing down rain and you don't really want the water and the surface coming back into your face as they cross over now. And in helmet number seven is Sai Chen Konjen who's just popped out to the front and Marcel Hoog's come up alongside him. So just two laps of this wonderful Tokyo National Stadium to determine who is going to be the men's 800 metres T54 Paralympic champion. That's Marcel Hoog who's out in front at the moment. On the inside, just behind him of Thailand, Saichen Konjen. And Marcel Hu just stretching out in front. He knows exactly what he has to do if he wants to take victory in this race. Looking for a third gold at these Paralympic Games. He's always strong out in front. He always knows what he wants to do. And he's being tailed, though, by Konjen and Zhang Yong of China in second and third, respectively. Marcel Hu out in front as they come round with 200 metres to go. They will be absolutely flying when they come round the last 100 metres. That's Marcel Hu. He's very hard to stop from this position. It's going to take a fair bit of work from Saichen Konjen. And also Jang Yong down the outside, but it's going to be Marcel Hoog who's going to make it a third Paralympic gold of these championships. 133.68. Konjen goes across in second. Very tight. Very tight indeed with Jang Yong. 133.68. It's actually Dai who's picked it up. The Swiss are celebrating, but it was a crowded finish. Saichen Konjens finished in third. He was looked nailed on for second. Dai's come from nowhere with a season best and picked up the silver. Romancic in fourth position. Zhang fell away. That man there in the number two helmet, Dai, has picked up a silver medal to add to his bronze. A season best. Incredible. Hook's turning into one of the athletes of the games, isn't he? Uh, there isn't a race scenario he hasn't mastered. There's not a type of race he can't conduct. It, he's, it gets impossible to beat because he's so quick and so clever. He's got it all going on. Well, he just went to the front early on. and He just knows how to control. He knows and looks for people coming over his shoulder. No one came. And what a finish in the end. Saichen Konjem was up there with Hu the whole way around. He got pipped, had to take a bronze. Daniel Romanchik set the Paralympic record earlier. Didn't even get into the medal. Such was the class of this race. Marcel Hu giving a look up at the screen. And Hu is a champion again. 1,500, 5,000. And now 800 metre Paralympic champion. That chair looks fast just sitting still, doesn't it? It's, well, that's a piece of engineering right there. Well, he actually helped design that chair. Mm. Marcel Hoog, he lives in Notville, where there's plenty of para sport that goes on. Grand Prix events there. And he makes sure he knows exactly 
what he's going to be competing in. It's a wonderful looking chair, all right. It's a wonderful athlete who rides it. Marcel Hoog of Switzerland. 35 years of age, picks up his fifth Paralympic gold medal. 2004 he started, didn't get his first gold till 2016, he picked up a couple there. He's already got three here. Hoog takes the gold, die with the silver for China, and Sai Chen Konjin ran out of it at the end, picks up the bronze.